Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective readings. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of your life. <laughs> All right, we're just doing random messages here. I want to see what shows up for you. Love, life, career. Um, see what's going on and what else is playing out for you in November. Okay? Okay, November. All right, so look. You've got Justice in the Hermit instantly. Someone here is a Virgo Libra cusper. September, the end of September, going into Libra season. This may be specifically for you, okay? There's some type of legal thing here that's going to turn out in your favor. That's the main message that's coming out here for you, okay? So if you have some type of legal dispute or something in the criminal uh, system, some legal document could be related to tax issues or family, children, anything like that, dealing with lawyers, judges, all that stuff. You've got justice. It's in your favor. Things are going to work out. That's the first message that's coming through. You're also, and, and this is not just for the Libra Virgo cus, uh, cuspers. This is also for everybody. But um, those of you who are on the cusp of Virgo Libra, pay attention. Um, also, you've got the hermit, you guys. So there is some reflection happening. Okay, you've got some stuff here that it looks like you're going to have to be thinking about or going inward to kind of like reflect on some uh, deep-seated thinking. It's not the dwelling kind of thing, but spending some time alone, a little bit of isolation. You may be having a desire to hide out from a certain person or people or just wanting to kind of spend time on your own or spend time alone, not be bothered, just kind of go off into hermit mode, basically. Just be on your own, thinking about something, seeking some enlightenment on certain topics or just trying to figure some stuff out i feel so like i just it doesn't feel like for a day it feels like pretty much for the month of november i mean some of you it's just basically like getting your fuzzy socks getting your you know your robe on <laughs> it's getting cold some of you are in areas the snow is starting to kick in the weather's getting chilly you're getting that hot chocolate you're just bearing down blankets at night or whenever sleeping in a little bit more getting cozy, you know, popping on the television, just snuggling in. And it's not necessarily being lonely. It's just kind of, uh, I don't know, hibernating. It's a little bit of the hibernation period, you know? Look at this, because I'm just kind of getting this, look at all this snow down here, right? And it's, it's chilly. It's a little kind of cold or rainy. So it's that time of the month, you know? This is a little bit of like... Just really wanting to be on your own. Okay, what else is coming up for you in November? This is like a buffet of messages here, Virgo. This is I saw the lovers. I want to tell you that, but I didn't I didn't draw the card out, but I did see it. Oh, my wrist is killing me today. My left wrist, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're getting some major arcana energy. Those are the high priestess, so look at this. Wow. Hmm, you're keeping some secrets to yourself as well. Hmm. So definitely. This is an all-knowing energy, and you're not saying anything either. You're keeping quiet in November also. Okay. These two cards pretty much give me a vibe of like zipping it, zipping your mouth shut. Staying on your own, Virgo. Not, there, there may be some situations that are coming up. For some of you, this is an I told you so situation that you're not saying anything. You're just kind of nodding your head to yourself. Something comes up. And it's one of those, you were right, Virgo, but you're, you don't rub it in anybody's face. You're not saying anything. You're kind of like somebody else, people, places, or things, turns out you were right about something. You find out, I feel, in November, 
And rather than going up to everybody and, and wagging the finger and saying, I told you so, I told you so, you're just kind of keeping to yourself and like, mm-hmm, told you. Yeah, so that is a very strong message to me that this is that inner wisdom that you're not, you're just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I know. Nobody learns. Virgo's just kind of, mm-hmm. I wish, I wish you could see the expression on my face. Someday I'll be on the camera. But the expression on my face literally is, like, you're a little stoic to everyone. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There, there must be a lot of drama or something. Like, I feel like, kind of like the shit hits the fan, so to speak. And everybody, like, there's a fallout and there's an aftermath. And you're kind of, like, getting out of harm's way because you saw this coming. You saw this coming from a mile away, and you got out of town way before everything came crashing down because you knew this was going to happen. I don't know what this thing is. Don't get on me. It might not have even happened yet. Some of you are already aware. you like, yep, yep, yep. And you get out of harm's way before the ish hits the fan, and then it does in November, and you're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so just so you know, whatever that situation is, be it with a particular person or people, places or things, it's in your favor. It works out for you. I can tell you that. All right. You've got also an opportunity, an investment opportunity, your money coming in in November for sure, or you're receiving a gift in November. Um, now, this isn't like somebody comes up to you and, and says, you know, just so... This is like a universal gift. This is what I feel. It's a universal gift. This is one of those things where it's like a blessing, you know. Um, it could come from a person, but it's it's not like for an occasion. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, it's your... It's not like it's Christmas. It's not like it's your birthday. It's not like it's, um, you know, for a holiday or, you know, you, you get like a, an award for something you've done. This is, this is like a gift, like a universal gift, and it's got no reason for it, you know. So it's, it's like you're walking through, you're going through your, like here's an example, right? I, I went last week and I cleared out out of uh, storage a bunch of stuff that I had. And I, I just got everything together. And my brother was like getting rid of everything, right? He was taking it all to the garbage. It was just a bunch of old stuff that I had and I didn't need it anymore. And I found this vase. And I told you this in a reading the other day, as a matter of fact, like a few weeks ago. And I, here it is. It came true. So I had this vase that I must have picked up in like a thrift store like 10 years ago. And I used it just to, it was cute. It was a little Japanese vase, you know, but it was big enough to hold umbrellas. And I used to put umbrellas in it. But I, I saw it. I had it for years. And I was like, I don't want this thing anymore. It doesn't match my decor. Whatever. And I, I, told, I gave it to my brother. I was like, yeah, chuck it. Well, he gets it. And he goes and he looks it up online to see. Because it had markings on it. Not that he's a vase enthusiast. But he, he's like, he knows his stuff. So he looked it up online. It was worth 450 bucks. Now, 450 bucks to some people is a treasure. And to other people, it's just cake. But He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to list it. <laughs> See if you can get $450 for it. I don't know if we're going to get it. But it's that's like a gift. That's like you have something for so, so long. And you're just like sticking umbrellas in it. You have no idea it's worth anything. And then you look it up and it's like, what? Sitting on a little bit of a treasure. You know, and, and that's what I'm talking about, th these little gifts. Okay. Well, you're walking down the street and you find a gold watch. <laughs> Obviously, it must belong to somebody, but there's no way you could return it because there's no name. There's nothing on it. Um, some It might have fell out of a car somewhere. Like You know what I mean? There's just, you could list it and see if somebody could find it, but it's like one of those things, you know. So November, there's some type of a gift, and it, it's monetary because it's Ace of Pentacles. So it's a monetary gift that you will receive or that opportunity that is going to come to you, but in what way? I am not exactly sure. You will find out when November actually begins to we roll through the month. But there is money coming to you or something of value or something of worth. Um, now you can you may find it, 
you may find it if you're rummaging through a thrift sale you may find it unexpectedly you might have it in your home it might be passed down to you it might be something that uh someone gifts to you that you might not even realize but listen don't go crazy looking for it it it's meant to come to you and it will make you will be made aware of it and it's one of those things where if you look for it you won't find it it will just come to you okay so expect to receive a it's a it's a decent amount it's a decent amount and it, it'll it'll be worthy to you for some of you it's a gift of employment okay or a bonus of some sort an unexpected job offer as well so it's a good thing right it's a good thing um okay and i don't know if you guys heard speaking of which i'm going to be changing uh, the membership price so if you are a member of my channel not a subscriber membership is where you pay to become a member Subs being a subscriber is free if you are a member of my channel i am going to be lowering the price for membership soon so keep your eyes peeled for that that will i'll be listing when i'll be doing that in the community tab so you will have to become a member again at the reduced price if you would like to become a member of my channel all right you guys so let's go on okay so you have a queen of wands who will be significant to you in the month of november okay she may have a black cat let's take a look oh okay so to qualify that it's got the three of wands and the death card okay so this queen of wands is going through a big transition um huge changes being made in her life um let's see um let's see here yeah uh she might be traveling yeah in november there's a bit of there's some travel here so you might be waiting to hear about travel um are waiting for her departure or arrival okay um masculine or feminine okay um so i do feel like there is some type of departure or arrival connected to a queen of wands like i said masculine or feminine fire sign aries leo or sagittarius okay um there's some planning involved so you she might be making plans with you you making plans with her in regards to some type of travel in november okay so it, this is a matter of like waiting for her um arrival or um standing at like the platform seeing her off okay yes so there's there's it's significant in that way okay let me see if there's anything else it's a big transition for her big change let's see what else has come now i just want to get another clarifying card for her okay hmm eight of swords so I can tell you this, whatever this changes is going to get her out of some type of restriction that she has been in, okay? Um, she's She has been, he or she, this fire sign has been in some kind of restrictive situation, okay? Mental restriction some some type of something that's made it a little bit difficult for her to maneuver and it may have been something that made her mentally feel like she couldn't really do the things that she used to be able to do before but she is actually going to you might have a concern about that about her but she's actually going to be able um, and I say she because it is the queen, but just please keep in mind that it could be masculine as well. But that this fire sign is going to be able to transcend that. She's going to be able to get moving and um, take some kind of trip or travel 
to to or fro. Okay, so th there's something here about, um, and, and it has something to do with her restriction. She's going to come out of restriction. Okay, so that's a really good sign. Okay, let's take a look here. What else is going on in Virgo's life in November? Virgo's life, what else is going on? Oh, oh we're not going to take those. Okay, so you're getting some communication. Very exciting communication. Uh, maybe from a child, could be. Um, or a grandson or a granddaughter or um, your own kids. Um, but there is some exciting communication that will be coming in or you will be sending out. Okay. Hmm, about some kind of vacation I'm seeing. Yes, yes, yes. Got a little R&R, &R, so you might be going somewhere. There might be trip planned. Picking up a lot of travel in November, so of course. There is, um, in the U.S., Thanksgiving holidays coming up. Most of my subscribers here, most of my viewers are in the U.S., so I'm kind of talking to you. I know some of you guys from other countries do have holiday coming up as well, um, so there might be plans for holidays as well, but it does look like a little downtime. You may get a message, or you may be talking to other people or talking to some other person about spending some time together during um, a little. So when I feel like, when we talk about R&R &R or relaxation, this is like a peaceful time. So when we have holidays, nobody's working, right? This, we're, we're just kind of like uh, having fun, playing games, we're being with family, we're being with friends, we're doing, we're watching sports. This page of wands can represent sports, you know, um, activities, physical activities, games and stuff like that um, <clears throat> during the holidays or we're, we're physically more active, we're shopping, we're cooking, we're getting out there. And this is during normal times. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, but let's try to keep things as normal as possible as we can. Not to ignore what's happening in the world, but we want to try to maintain a sense of normalcy so we don't all lose our minds. So with the holidays coming, especially in November, there may be some communication from somebody um, or with somebody in regards to this holiday R&R, &R, relaxation, trouble. Does that mean there's going to be time spent with somebody? Possibly. We'll see. But I do feel like you will be talking to someone that there may be an offer. Yes, absolutely. In regards to um, having dinner together. Look, I feel like someone's handing you like a plate. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to eat with me? Yeah. So you want to have dinner together? You want to share a plate? You want, you want some of my food on my plate? So, yeah. Uh, and that page of wands is always like my crush card. So I feel like there's a little bit of smitten juice spewing out here. A little bit of smitten juice. A little bit of crush love going on. All right. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Virgo. Love and life for Virgo. Okay, oh, you got some magic. Wow, manifesting, Virgo. What are you manifesting? Laying everything out on the table here, Virgo. Yes, you've got some. Well, this can be, this is Gemini energy for sure. Okay, we have Pisces, Virgo, Libra. Um, you have on the table Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have Scorpio on the table. So, okay. Tell me what's going on with this magician. Oh, I'm seeing somebody making candles. Somebody pouring candles or pours candles or makes candles for maybe crafts or sells them. I'm seeing candle making. Mm hmm. Are you doing that or thinking about doing that as like a little side hustle? <clears throat> making candles, pouring candles. That's, that's a sweet little deal. Yep, or thinking about making a little money, manifesting a little candle shop job or something. Okay. Um, there's performan performance. Somebody may be getting into some type of performance work as well. Hold on, you guys. I have to fix my chair. Like sliding off my chair. Um, a little performance work here with the magician. Let's see. Give me a clarifying card for the magician. Bell Virgo. 
what's going on with the magician here? I definitely feel like you're, you're, I see you in front of, I don't know if it's like a stage or a bunch of people. Looks like you're going to be doing something. Looks like you're going to be doing some work. Not, well, you could be doing work or you could be selling some stuff. Making things and selling things. That's, that's when I pick up this big, this is big energy for that. So you're manifesting, you're making, I don't know, maybe some of you are like doing a little disco dancing, a little Saturday Night Fever John on the table here. But there's, I, I kind of see you behind a table. I see you like selling things. You've got all your products on the table, whether it's like edible products or, um, or you're standing at the, you're either you're selling things or you're performing or you're you've got products or you're performing something or you're speaking you're at a podium or some kind of table you've got props <laughs> or you're just standing at a table and there's other people on the other side you're talking all right you might be selling healing type alternative things as well you might be doing something like that in november um, and look how I just pulled that, how it sits on the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a new employment opportunity, money coming in, good job, new income. Definitely showing up here for you. You could be selling, um, remember when I was saying like pouring, pouring, candle, wax, that, so some pouring energy going on here. Okay. Yeah. So you definitely have something happening here where, um, I, it feels, it kind of lines up, it ties in there. I see you like some kind of new job up. Maybe you're pouring concrete. I don't know. You're doing something where you've got products, you, you, you've got some sales, you're, you're in something, but it feels like you're doing it yourself or you're out there selling for another company and making money, okay? Or you are performing in some way and you're kind of like, I don't know, star salesperson, of the of the year you're you know or you're a star maybe you're performing on stage and you're getting paid like there's there's some connection to this and it's it's kind of you could have an association with someone who's in that industry and that gets you a job or there's there's some type of an association with someone you could be a singer um, maybe you're in um, music or you are you're getting paid for some kind of music performance artists actors musicians, all that kind of stuff. So something big, you're on theater, you're in stage, you're doing plays or something in November. Maybe you're doing like some kind of Christmas show, something like that. It's huge. It's it's huge. Like, there's a good opportunity showing up here. All right, let's get a couple more messages. Oh, look, new love. New love start on the horizon. Beautiful, beautiful new love start. Oh, wow. Yes strong new love beginning happening here wow coming in fast and furious okay could be with a leo this could also be a very new beginning in self-love as well not oh i'm so narcissistically in love with myself this is just like self-love self-care uh, grooming the self taking care of the self this is very beautiful energy lifestyle change as well um communicating with someone as well a lot of new love beginnings happening here i love it i love it okay you've got the five of cups um healing from a, a grief and letting go of a king of swords kind of thing you might have had an involvement with a king of swords gemini libra aquarius um kind of rethinking that whole relationship with the king of swords pat getting past the grief and the remorse and kind of looking at the thing objectively um you know you're kind of past the emotional stage maybe and now you're in a place of like hmm now looking looking at it more practically um you've got so it looks like maybe healing from a past relationship that you're in a different stage of that now no longer like really down and out emotionally but more kind of like huh Look, y'all, this person has a shovel. So it's like, all right, it's time to bury this shit. <laughs> no longer crying over spilled milk. It's time to like just put all them spilt cups and just kind of bury it. Let me just dig a hole, 
dig everything up and then just put it all together and just start digging another hole and just like bury it all yeah so i feel like burying the pain not not in a sense of like not dealing with it but just like digging it all up and then creating a pile and then just kind of putting and mixing it all together and just getting being done with it so healing from a past thing but then you because you've got new love coming in or just a new self-love kind of thing and that's good that's really good so it looks like you're getting over in november is going to be key it's very sy symbolic for getting over a past uh loss from the past definitely it's a good thing um let's see what other love message messages of love you have going forward Okay, you've got support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay, leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. You've got release. Like I was just saying, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Very beautiful. And you've got retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. When you saw that first, you've got the retreat card. So that was great. Especially if there's an I told you so going in there. You've got abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now, Virgo. Amazing. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Play hard. Find time to laugh. Goof off and enjoy each other, Virgo. Beautiful. I love these messages. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. And warning, don't dismiss any red flags. It says here, but I don't really see any red flags <laughs> here, so I don't really know what they're talking about. Maybe in the month of November, you might have some red flags come up. Um, red flags might be the I told you so, so be careful that you don't kind of go around shaking that finger and just being like i told you so and i told you so and i told you so because then that's not going to be good just let shit speak for itself right <laughs> i feel like that's the strongest message all right let's get some and because this was like such a buffet of random messages i'm not going to pull the chinese signs because i don't feel like it's going to really be specific there like there wasn't any one specific person let's just but we will get a couple of okay we get the letter h someone was born in 1984 september 9th is a significant birth date august 31st okay so the initial h okay we've got someone was born in the month of may okay we have the initial g the initial a and then i saw why somebody might be uh, they want to say gay, but I'm going to use the term homosexual. Um, we have September 13th. Might be somebody's birthday. Year of birth, we have 1967. Another initial. We have the initial S, as in Sam. Another birthday. Someone may have born in the month of February. So when I call out those other months, that could be someone significant to you. Okay, we have the initial J. So your name might start with a J. And we have someone who's 40 years of age. Let's get some other initials. We have a Q. We have A and a V. And I just heard Gavin. The name Gavin. Okay. And then I'm hearing Ava. I'm hearing Jack. I'm hearing John. I'm hearing Tony or Anthony. Okay. I'm hearing Ed or Eddie or Edna. Okay. A two. I just heard a two. Which that's not really a name that I hear often. Okay, let's see if we have any other, other initials. Okay. <clears throat> I 
All right. Okay, they're telling me Faye, the name Faye. I feel like I've called that out before. Uh, Frank, I'm hearing Tara, Tara, Tara. Okay, I'm hearing, uh, no, I didn't hear that. Steph or Stephanie. You know, there are some letters that I don't, okay, here we go. That's what I was hearing. Okay. Michelle or Mel. BB. Mo. Moni, Mona. We have Joe, Joe, Jose, <laughs> Bambi, mm -mm -mm. Suzanne, they just said, there's Jose there. All right, I'm gonna leave those there for now. Let's get a charm. And what do you have? Okay, you have a bicycle, you guys. So bicycle being significant. Somebody rides bikes or is a avid bike rider or is out riding a bike listening to this um, or has lost their bike or you had your bike stolen, be careful. I'm sorry if that happened to you. I hope you find it. Um, someone's just recently taking up taken up bike riding or is um, riding a bike as exercise in the gym perhaps two-wheeler I see I don't know what the thing on the back is but yeah something very significant or you connect with someone who's a bike rider maybe you're a motorcycle enthusiast so you're gonna switch start riding motorcycles or um, maybe you got a DUI can't drive your car anymore now you're riding a bike could be something so when I bring up these charms I bring them up if you resonate too with the charm, this also means that the reading will be specific for you or to you, right? So I'm gonna leave that right there. Maybe there's a bike marathon of some sort or you're you know, in some kind of contest or maybe you make bikes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. And uh, yeah, I will see you back here tomorrow with your weekend reading. Have a fantastic evening and I will see you back here later. Take care. i